Hello, Purchase families. I am Mr. Poole, your child's physical education teacher. This will be my 12th year as a health and physical education teacher in the district. It has been a joy welcoming your children back to school this year, and we are off to a great start. The mission of the elementary physical education department is to provide students with a safe and positive environment in which they can acquire a foundation of movement skills. Through this process, students will gain confidence in their ability as movers and experience the enjoyment and value that can come from physical activity. Students will learn why physical activity is important and how they can successfully sustain a physically active lifestyle. The learning goals and activities that typically comprise physical education are varied to provide a broad base of movement skills and to engage a variety of learners. Areas of focus during the year will be cooperation, locomotion, rolling, throwing, and catching, dribbling, passing, and shooting, striking, both by hand and with implements, physical fitness, rhythm and dance, gymnastics, circus arts, game strategies, good sporting behavior, and personal and social responsibility. The following slides provide a glimpse of what and how students learn in physical education. Here we have primary age students working on their eye-hand coordination. These are intermediate age students doing a group jump rope activity. I think that's eight or nine of them there. Not easy. Here we have intermediate students during a rhythm and dance unit learning a line dance version of Cotton Eye Joe. Here, students are working on their hand striking skills, playing a game that we call table ball. These are intermediate age students learning about cardiovascular health as part of our Kids Heart Challenge, which we do each year. These are primary students working on their hand striking skills using balloons. These students are building their strength, balance, and flexibility. Here are intermediate students building their strength, body awareness, and balance on our climbing wall. These primary age students are climbing up our cargo net. Here we see students participating in gymnastics. These primary age students are paired up and working on their catching skills. These students are working cooperatively to build and transport a hula hut from one part of the room to another. Not an easy task, it takes a lot of patience and good communication. These intermediate level students have been working on their forearm pass, setting and serving to participate in mature games of volleyball. These primary students who happen to be in their pajamas on pajama day are playing a game that we call Kings, Queens, and Dragons, where they get to work on their eye-hand coordination and imagine that they're defending a castle from dragons. Here's a student developing fitness and cooperation skills while using a scooter. We also develop our eye foot skills. We see students foot dribbling here. Here students, and I think Mr. Gutterman snuck in for a few minutes, are working on their balance skills during a circus unit. Here we see students building their strength and flexibility as part of a physical fitness focused unit. When it comes to assessment and physical education, students are assessed on a scale of one through four in the following categories, personal and social responsibility, physical skills, and understanding of concepts related to health and physical education. Please make sure that your child is wearing sneakers when they have physical education in school. 
they will have PE on either A, C, and E days or B, D, and F days. If you are unsure of which letter day it is, consult the calendar at the Purchase Elementary School website. Thank you for your time, and I look forward to the enjoyment and learning we will experience during physical education this year. I look forward to seeing you in person in the future. Please do not hesitate to contact me with any questions or concerns.